Welcome back, guys, to part seven of Oxen Free. I hope you had fun watching it up to this point. Let us just jump right into it. Again, I would like to apologize for the fact that these episodes are longer than usual, super long. I really haven't been keeping a timer on this. I've kind of just been breezing through it. Um, I will edit down as much as I can, but I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Then just leave then. Why are you... Why are you still here? Why not move on of all the... Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Yes, I have, actually. Oh, what? Sitting in your room breaking from your brother? You're like this one. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Child, make your turn. Saw the man, but not the dog. Are you... are you here? Hello? Is somebody there? Guess not. You've come to close the hole. Right, Dad? Well, you're gonna find out it's not that simple. Yeah, I've come to close the hole. I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago, all right? <laughs> okay, well, it didn't work then. Why would it work now? God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your, your friends from our bloom, sure. But it will seal you up in here with us. You'll die with us again and again. Well, it'd be an alright way to go if it meant saving some people you care about. One last chance. You don't have to die. You can leave, you know. Through the gate you opened. And we keep the girl. Clarissa. She'll still be here happier with us. What? No way! I'm not... I'm not just gonna abandon Clarissa. Who do you think I am? Who do, who do you think we are? Do you think we wanted to be thrown away? Like some faulty appliance? We won't let it end like that. How can I fix it then? Just just tell me how to fix it. I'm here. I'm in the, the past, for God's sake. I can't change this somehow? No, you can't change. Before, you can't change anything. We can feel this binding. You have maybe just a few moments left. We feel terrible, we do, but... But you have to know why that everyone chose to forget about us. Everyone just... shuttered us away. They built a monument for you. How could you say that everyone forgot? Oh, the monument, the memorial, the... hunk of metal. It's a balm for their injured pride. That they let one of their own fall. It won't hurt, we don't think. The change. <laughs> but we hope the trip was worth it. Seeing the depraved tourist track they built on our corpus. Did you see the gift shop? You can buy a little submarine footrest if you fancy that sort of thing. 
This whole little community is for you. They built it up around Fort Milner, and for the soldiers that died, it's all about that. It's not for us. We've twisted our bodies, screeching two inches from your faces for you to, to see us. And you never do. This conversation is meaningless. I think I have to sacrifice or something. I had a feeling this was what would happen. Oh, getting started already. Okay, you want to check out the void? Fine. We can see how long you stay on the throttle. Shut up. Whatever you say doesn't matter anymore. On the contrary, it actually matters quite a deal. Oh my god, it's got my name on it. Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Okay, this is... This is gonna be fine. Just work through it. Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what... What's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What is... How is this possible? What's going on? Could have gone better. <sighs> right. Time loop. Tell Michael he should go out on his own. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> I hope I picked all the right answers. I don't even know if there are right answers, right, wrong, whatever, I just answered how I felt. Because I've experienced loss myself. That day go by that I wouldn't want to see them. Michael. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, did I get booted back in time? I know, I haven't used this desk in like a year, but 
Dad has all his gear on the kitchen table, so I've been like struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have like a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Graduation speech, is that what we're talking about? Aw oh, man, you haven't been listening at all. It's okay, this is really boring. I'm guessing mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What? That's great. Congratulations. I, I mean, that that's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. Michael... Mm say it come on you can't take me to the water's edge of an idea here and then not jump in that's just cruel no no really i'm talking out of my ass it's fine listen here's the <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad but clarissa and i are talking about just leaving getting an apartment somewhere and and just doing our own thing you know getting jobs and wow that's that's exciting this is like a huge deal like like the boxcar children version of getting married or something uh it's yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. It'll be a lot harder to break up, so there's some level of uh, Val there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just, I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm alright to do this? I... God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but you should do it. Totally. Even if it explodes in a nuclear war-style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Michael, what is... What's this for? What, what are you doing? This is just... This is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you too. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Maybe don't get up immediately. Are we uh, in ghost heaven? <laughs> no, we're not in ghost heaven. We made it. We're alive. I mean, for the most part, my arm, like, fell asleep for a second. We're some... alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. That's... I'm, I'm glad. I'm sorry. I'm just... I was back. I fell back a few years during the whole thing, and I just saw Michael again. That's all. So, I'm just a little rattled right now. What do you mean? What did you... What do you mean you saw Michael? What happened? What was happening? Okay, just... wait. I was, I think... well, I know I was back. Um, it was like a week before he drowned. We came here, actually. We hiked in the woods, just spent the day together, and... I don't know, I was just there again. I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, it's... I'm sure it was rough. No, it was, um... It was good to see him. It was good. He looked good. He looked... Um... Himself. So Michael visited you. He crawled out from whatever netherworld swamp he's in and plucked into your head? Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's like what matters to us showed up or something. The universe doesn't care about what matters to us. Then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... I think we'd sound nuts, honestly. I, I mean, it's not like... It's not like we have any proof any of this actually happened. Hey, is this your book? Oh man. This is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay. Slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? 
Uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Alright, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Come on. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. All right, shut up. Cheese! No. <sighs> Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually, though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long distance thing, I guess. Oh, yay. Clarissa fled to the East Coast, dropped out of college, and works at a boutique. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. Oh, hate me? Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by, and I realized... I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well... If it matters. I decided to stay in town and go to college here. It's practically up the road, and... I just wanted something familiar, I guess. But anyways... What time is it? Yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. Ugh, I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right? Oh my god, okay. So that was officially it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It seems like there were multiple endings, the way you talked to people and how people were, like, interacting with each other. Um, it's kind of cool that, you know, you, you got to have those interactions with the they did bond with each other it was also good that you got to see what your past characters the, some of the past characters were like such as Michael and everyone else and, and just seeing how it all worked out and you got to do some good by pushing certain people to do certain things I love games like that. I love games that really just um, that are very character driven, that are very story driven that way. And this is one of the reasons I picked this up. It's
Steam. Um, it is, I want to say, $19. So please go check it out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for it. It looks like you can see all of the um, pictures that were taken by both Nona and Jonas. Um, if you guys liked it, please check it out. Other than that, to do what you guys do best, like, comment, and subscribe, and remember, 